But if I told you that AI can now create videos so realistic, you can't tell if they're real or generated. The AI video wars just got intense. Google just dropped Veo 3.1 and it's going head to head with OpenAI's Sora 2. But here's the thing. Most people don't have access to these tools. That's where Higgsfield AI comes in. Today, I'm putting both of these AI video giants through the ultimate test, using the same prompts, the same settings, and we're going to see which one truly deserves the crown. Trust me, some of these results are absolutely mind-blowing, and some, well, let's just say AI still has some learning to do. Let's dive in. Before we jump into the comparison, let me show you why everyone is talking about these two models. First up, Google's VO 3.1. Google claims this is their most advanced video model yet, with richer audio generation, more narrative control, and enhanced realism that's supposed to blur the line between AI and reality. And honestly, when you see some of the outputs, it's hard to argue. Look at this example, a close-up of a woman with genuine emotion, tears welling up in her eyes. The detail in the skin texture, the way light catches the moisture in her eyes, it's genuinely impressive. Now, open AI's Sora 2. This isn't Sora's first rodeo. Sora 2 Pro builds on the foundation of the original Sora, but with massive improvements in understanding complex movements, physics, and following detailed instructions. Watch this. A gymnast performing a tumbling pass. The way the body moves through space. The rotation. The landing. Sora 2 has been trained to understand how the real world works, and it shows. Both of these models represent the cutting edge of AI video generation. VO 3.1 promises photorealism and emotional depth. Sora 2 promises precision and understanding of complex actions. But which one actually delivers? That's what we're here to find out. The best part? You don't need special access or a waitlist. Both models are available right now on Higgsfield AI, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use them. All right, let me introduce you to Higgsfield AI, the platform that's making all of this possible. Higgsfield is basically a one-stop shop for content creators. You can access all the popular image and video generators, along with all the LLM models under one subscription. Instead of signing up for multiple platforms, waiting on waitlists, and juggling different interfaces, Higgsfield gives you access to multiple AI video models in one place. We're talking Sora 2, Sora 2 Pro, Google VO 3.1, and several others. Here's how to get started. First, head over to higgsfield.ai. I will put the link in the description. You'll need to create an account. Just use your email or sign in with Google. Once you're in, you'll see the main dashboard. You will find image, video, and various video generator models here. As of today, we will generate videos. So, I am coming to the video generation interface. This is the video generator interface. Let's create our first video. First of all, you can select a theme. Here, you will find a vast number of themes or templates of various AI video generators. For the first video, I will select the VO 3.1 general theme. Next, you will find options to upload the first frame and last frame of the video. The ingredients mode allows you to create videos with subject reference. I will try the text to video generator feature so I won't upload any reference image. Okay. Now we have to enter the text prompt. Here's what I'm typing. A cinematic close-up of a detective sitting alone in a dimly lit office at night. Rain streaks down the window behind him. He stares at an old photograph in his hands, his eyes filled with regret and determination. He whispers, I should have been there. The ambient sound of rain and distant city traffic fills the scene. The key to good prompts is being specific. Describe the shot type, the subject, the action, the emotion, the environment, and even the audio if you want it. Okay, now come to the settings. Google VO 3.1 allows you to generate multi-shot videos. You can turn this on from here. Next, we have to select the video generation model. You will find almost all the popular and powerful video generator models here. Here, you can notice that some models are unlimited, which means you can generate unlimited video clips. You just have to buy a subscription plan and you will be able to generate unlimited video clips. Okay? I am selecting the VO 3.1 model. After that, select the video resolution and then the aspect ratio of the video. In the end, you can turn on the unlimited mode to generate video without spending any credits. Okay, 
Now hit the generate button to generate the video. Now here's where patience comes in. Depending on server load, generation can take a few minutes. I am fast forwarding the video. And here it is. The video is ready. I should have been there. Look at the video. This is really amazing. VO 3.1 generates an amazing result. The visuals, lighting, cinematography, and character consistency are amazing. The audio and lip sync are just perfect. In one word, this is a perfect cinematic video. I like it. Now let's create a video with the same prompt but with the Sora 2 model. I am selecting the Sora 2 model from the video generator models. After selecting the model, select the video duration. While VO 3.1 can generate 8 second videos, Sora 2 allows you to generate a maximum of 12 second videos. For fair comparison, I am selecting 8 seconds from here. In the end, select the aspect ratio. Once everything is set, hit the generate button and then wait for some time. And here it is, the video is ready. Let's have a look. I should have been there. This is amazing. Sora 2 also generated a realistic and high quality video. All right, this is the moment of truth. Let's compare these videos side by side and see how each model handled the same prompt. Looking at VO 3.1 first, this is atmospheric. The lighting is moody and cinematic with that dim office glow contrasting against the rain-streaked window. The detective's expression captures that mix of regret and determination we asked for. And the rain on the window looks realistic with proper refraction. The whispered dialogue comes through with emotion, and the ambient rain sound is immersive. Now Sora 2 Pro, also very strong. The detective's face is expressive and the emotion reads well. The office setting is believable, and the rain effect is there. The lighting is good but slightly less dramatic than Veo 3.1's version. The audio is solid with clear dialogue and rain ambiance. In my opinion, Veo 3.1 generates better results. Let's test something that AI typically struggles with, complex human movement. Here's my prompt. A breakdancer in an urban setting performing a fast, spinning flare move on a cardboard mat. The camera captures the fluid rotation and the dancer's control. Hip-hop music plays in the background. After entering the prompt, select the video generation model, duration, and aspect ratio, and then hit the generate button. Now we have to wait for some time. I will generate the video with the Sora 2 model using the same prompt and settings. Okay, both the videos are ready. Let's have a look. This is the video generated by VO 3.1. Okay, this is interesting. The visuals are nice. Good urban setting. The cardboard mat is there. But the movement? It's almost in slow motion and it doesn't look like an actual flare. The body positioning is off and the physics don't quite work. It's more like interpretive dance than break dancing. Sora 2 Pro on the other hand. Now this is break dancing. The rotation is fluid, the body mechanics look correct, and you can actually see the power and control. The movement speed matches what we'd expect from a real breakdancer. This is a legitimate flare move. So, Sora 2 understood the physics and complexity of the movement far better. Okay, now let's have a look at dialogue and prompt following capability. This is a tough one. Let's see how well these models can handle specific dialogue and multiple characters. Here's the prompt. A split screen shot. On the left, a woman in a modern kitchen talks on her phone saying, I can't believe you forgot. On the right, a man in a laundry room responds, I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. Both are holding phones to their ears. After entering the prompt set, all other settings and then hit the generate button. Now in the same method, generate video with the Sora 2 model. I can't believe you forgot. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. VO 3.1 creates the split screen, which is good. The environments look realistic. Nice kitchen, believable laundry room. But here's where it fumbles. The dialogue doesn't match the characters correctly. The woman says both the woman's and the man's lines. Also, the phone positioning is awkward, not quite at the ear. Sora 2 Pro nails this. I can't believe you forgot. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. 
The split screen is there. The dialogue is assigned correctly. Woman says her line, man says his line. The phones are properly positioned at their ears, and the expressions match the emotion of what they're saying. This is exactly what we asked for. Now let's create a multi-shot video and see how VO3.1 and Sora react. I already wrote a prompt with a timeline. Now, I am going to generate the video. First, I will try with Google VO3.1. After entering the prompt, I am turning on the multi-shot mode. After that, set all other settings and then hit the generate button. While VO3.1 is generating the video, I will generate the same video using Sora 2. Just select the model and then set all other settings and then hit the generate button. Okay, our videos are ready. This is the video generated by Google VO3.1. Look at the result, this is so amazing, the transition is perfect, and visual quality is so cinematic. Now let's see the result of Sora 2. This is also a very good result, but there is a huge difference in visual quality. VO3.1 is far better than Sora 2. So after putting both models through their paces with identical prompts and settings on Higgsfield AI, what's the verdict? Here's the truth. There's no clean knockout winner. Both VO3.1 and Sora 2 Pro are incredibly powerful, but they have different strengths. Sora 2. Understanding complex human movements and physics. Following detailed, nuanced instructions. Correctly interpreting multi-character scenes with dialogue. Maintaining consistency in action sequences. VO3.1 excels at photorealism and visual quality emotional depth and cinematic atmosphere, creative transitions and effects, certain types of object interactions, macro photography and nature scenes. If I had to choose based on the rounds we tested, Sora 2. My recommendation? Use both. Since Higgsfield gives you access to both models, you can choose based on your specific project. Need a realistic emotional scene or nature shot? Go with VO 3.1, need complex action, movement, or multi-character dialogue. Go with Sora 2 Pro. Not sure? Generate with both and pick the better result. The real winner here is us, the creators. Having access to both of these cutting-edge models through one platform like Higgsfield AI means we can push the boundaries of what's possible with AI video generation. And that's the ultimate showdown between VO3.1 and Sora 2 Pro on Higgsfield AI. Both models are incredible, both have their strengths, and both are available for you to use right now. If you found this comparison helpful, smash that like button and subscribe for more AI video content. Drop a comment below and let me know which model you think won, or what prompts you want me to test next. I'll put links to Higgsfield AI in the description. Now go create something amazing! Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.